Hey, it's me. This is my channel. <laughs> when I tell people like about what I do, I'm wearing red Converse. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Oh, what's the name of your channel?" I'm like, "It's my wife's name." youtubecom slash Whitney mm -hmm. We were watching uh, the David Beckham show, and when he shaved his head, Whitney was like half asleep, but then she, she was literally like, "Ah!" Oh! <laughs> I did yeah, not. I just like, he shaved his head and he got a million times hotter. Like, so far we've been watching, we were like an episode, like one hour in. And I'm like, he's cute, but I think he was still had like baby face and long hair. And then he shaved his head and it was like a whole different man. He's very attractive. <laughs> Is this a new season? Oh, new hair. Hey, how are you? Out of my own. I don't know where I am. It'll be okay. Everything just feels so different here. It'll be fine. It'll be brand new stuff for you. I'm excited. An hour I am too. I want to move yep. to Miami. This summer, I finally said goodbye to Siesta Key. As much as I love Siesta, it felt like it was time to move on. Oh yeah, girl, work it. Everything I could do there had already been done. I am so excited to show you the suit. I've only ever lived in Siesta Key. It's just not where fashion is happening. And everyone I wanted to date there, well, I already had dated. He is so sweet and so kind, and I really like him. But half the week is parties, and I don't focus on myself. I just don't want to be in that position again. I don't feel right about it right now. We broke up. I wanted more. I wanted bigger. I wanted true independence. And when you're from Siesta Key, the place to find it is Miami. She looked like she was just driving in the middle of the road. That is Sam's car, though. Oh, so I heard she maybe. Kept it. Yeah, but I heard. I think she like paid. Like now pays the yeah, lease or, or whatever. Something. Okay. You are my Some people were happy staying in the Key, but others had big dreams just like me. Let's make it. Some people got fired from the show, but others just came with me. It's not a final product. Okay. Camera speed. Marker. I graduate in May. I got accepted school. And some of us just wanted to escape all the gossip. You're moving? I just feel like I've outgrown this place. Whatever it was that made people leave their hometown happened to us. And we were lucky enough to do it together. What? All right, who's going? I'm not buying any of this. Who's going? It looks like Brandon, Kara, Chloe, Jordana, Jordana, Amanda, Juliet, Sam. Sam. Yo, we in Miami. Moving here opened up a lot of opportunity. The city makes me feel alive. But we quickly learned that city life was hard. You're competing in the big leagues now in Miami. This is not Siesta Key anymore. Between the wedding and this company, we've invested a lot of money. We're struggling right now. I just lost my son. I'm gonna make a break point in my life. If I get distracted, I could lose a huge opportunity. It ain't only about the music no more. It's about you as a brand. And the more we Thank wanted... Oh, doing awful things. I don't want you to. Sam, let his beard grow out. This town may eat you up and spit you out because it will. Siesta life quickly became a distant dream. You moved to Miami and got Sam as a sugar daddy. And the city became too much. I knew owning a business is going to be hard. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. It's going to be this hard. So here you go. So you cheated twice. You were the last person I would call if I needed help. Megan gave me this ultimatum. You have to move out. At what point are we like, this friendship doesn't work at all? I guess I'll just see you around. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's just too cool with how flirty Clark is with like every girl. Hey, Megan! Shut the f up! Her Anything else you want to say? Clark won't even film. That's sketchy. I, I can't do this. I don't know what to Clark. say. I can't do this. There was no Clark, party. no. We were making big Miami moves. I'm excited. You got a good attitude. You don't want me. I'm so tired. Yeah. I am too. It's Elsie's apartment. It's Elsie's Miami. I have a party coming up, like, very soon. My JMP Miami launch party. Yay, that'll be so awesome. I know, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, but I'm not spending the though. same amount of money that Sam spent on my last launch party. God, I can't believe that I'm back 
near Sam. And Jordana lives with him. This is like so weird. What do you think of her dark hair? She looks great with dark hair, but I think it's the wrong tone for her. I think it's too dark. I think she should go more like caramelly. Mm. Are they together? Mm. She looks different. Thank you so much for my bathing suit. Yeah, you didn't no, need to do course. that. Like, I love you. Yeah. I don't need you to buy me things. It, it's just nice to be able to help out with someone who helps me out. Like, you helped me out with the art in my house, or our house, I guess I would say. It's your yeah, you're house. nothing but, like, no, it's our house. It's like, your I want house, you to Sam. Yourself. Yeah, I don't know. What? You just mean so much to me, and I want you to feel appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry. Bad situation. Yeah, real bad. bad. Okay, right. Sam and Megan were still dating, and Jordana was kind of the third wheel. The weird thing was, on social media, you would have thought that Sam and Jordana were together. Plus, Jordana had moved into Sam's house. If I were Megan, I would have been worried. Let's go. Let's go hop in the pool. Because <laughs> also have some sketches I want to show you at home, so okay, we'll cool. do that. This house looks sick. Mm -hmm. Everything for him. If they're just friends, then that's that. like a, you get to live here for free if you like fold my white t-shirts all day. <laughs> <laughs> What's this house like? Have you been there? I mean, it's nice. It's just like the same as Sarasota. Damn. I mean, it's not my style at all, but... Um, it was right on the water. Yeah, that yeah. looks lovely. We've got some designs already. Mm hmm Nice. Never seen that, this though. This design that I made. I love it. I don't see any other <laughs> brand with this. Yeah, not only did Sam and Jordana live together now, they had gone into business together, too. A business that Sam was completely financing. Oh I just God. think the concept of faux fur. Sweating in his house. The high-end <laughs> product is cool. Like we want high-end, like we want our stuff yeah. to speak like yeah. Gucci. Expensive taste now. Yeah, I'm like a rich bitch now. <laughs> I can't even express to you how big of an opportunity this is for me. It's gonna change my life. He does not look well. Uh-uh, he looks sick. Yeah. He, he's breaking, a, he has a fever. Yeah. So Clark's gonna come over later, which I'm really excited about. So you guys are like really good right now. We're doing really good. He's so like anti-drama and he just wants to have fun. He just wants to have a good time. Yep, I was still dating Clark. He's a lot different from my past boyfriends. He works in real estate and recently branched out to become a boat broker. We were happy, but we definitely had some issues to work out. But I will say, like, he doesn't really want to film, but you have to, so I mean, it's better if he's there. Weird first show to break the fourth wall. Yeah, I like that, though. Yeah, I used to think that it should happen all the time, mm -hmm. especially in the hills when, like, you guys were getting so famous that, like, you were driving nice cars and paparazzi were following you. Like, we have to explain this. Mm -hmm. But really, once you do, it's kind of the end of the show. Once you burst the illusion that these are real people, it it become something else. My life had been filmed for years now, so having a boyfriend who didn't want to be on camera was new territory. It was either going to be great for our relationship or, or an not great. disaster. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he'll come around, but at least we, at least have, we like, have each other. Yeah. It's gonna make it feel more at home, you know, having like all my people yeah. here. Whose apartment is this, Juliet's or hers? Yeah, Juliet. oh, Juliet's, okay. Oh my god, putting your leg up on it, that is such a pro move. What a way to start off our life here. It's like, this is what I want to do every day for the entire summer. I've been in school my whole life. All I want to do is celebrate. You want to celebrate graduating yeah. college? Have some fun. I feel that. And I just needed to get away from Siesta Key for a little bit. Well, that's why I was like, you might as well just come and stay with Chris and I. We came here for Emerald Ray, and we have the apartment. You yeah. might as well like come for the summer and see if you like it. Exactly. Exactly. I was going to say, so like, what's what? your plan for Emerald Ray? Hopefully, in a big city like Miami, I'm trying to put it more on the map, getting it into skin boutiques and spas. Yeah. They have so much of that down here. So much. Look at you making moves with your career. I know. Did you see that Juliet's moving into her place today? Yeah, dude, she was trying to get us to help her. Yeah. And I'm like, like, really? Where were you when Emerald Ray was launching? I, that's what I was going to say. So Chloe had started Ooh. a skincare business called Emerald Ray Botanicals. And yeah, she had a promotional launch party that I couldn't go to. This has been something that I've been working on for a really long time. She behind the, the keyboard. Uh, I love you all. Thank you so much for coming. I felt bad about it, but I was busy with JMP. Oh, no. What? If she's not careful. She's gonna wake. I don't that even want to be mean. Terrible. It looked like it. Was, that was in like the green room uh, of like.
I don't know. Oh, that was her mom. She's all gung-ho about Clark, and Clark won't even film. I get people not wanting their life in the public eye. However, if your girl is the face of a show and you're not wanting to film at all, that's sketchy. I don't it think is that's sketchy. possible that he is scared that we're going to find something out that he doesn't want Juliet to know. Don't really say you're so we're going to sign up. <laughs> I still have a lot to do. I'm a little overwhelmed. Chloe and Amanda were supposed to come over and help me unpack and move in, and they kind of just ghosted me. But it's nice I'm, I'm close to you now. Much closer than Sarah's sister, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something for JMP, and you know, we're gonna have a launch party. There were gonna be cameras there. I know you don't really wanna be a part of all this as much, but. I was hoping you could come. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like I say so many times, I don't want to do it. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm just not doing it. Okay. okay. <sighs> oh. Sorry, girl. You're sad, baby girl. Whose house is this? Sam. Uh, all right. Whose shoes are those? Kara. Kara. Whose bag is that? Kara. Kara. Who is it? Kara. Hi, guys. What up? Hi. My best friend came. I miss you. <laughs> you drove from Siesta today? Yeah. How was it? How was it? Did you chat her? Where's Michael? Um, he's coming tomorrow. You're living here? Yeah, until I start school again. Does anyone want a drink? Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, those people. You shouldn't have to ask. Thank you. Uh, what, mm. Your teeth are pretty good. Yeah, maybe he's trying to like get in the show. How's like Jordana doing with Sam and Megan? Is that weird? It is a little bit weird because essentially he has like a companion in Jordana and she's there for him because he did go through a tough breakup. So it's hard to get a over. A year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that. Okay. <laughs> I think deep down, I think she does have some feelings for Sam. She won't say it. She'll never weird. say it. Mm. <laughs> Jordana, you are playing yourself. Yeah, she's like totally playing a role in her own movie, right? Right. He confirmed. Validated. Oh, uh, Delaney and Quincy. Quincy's cute. Thank you. Of course. It's a new spot. I'm still getting used to it myself. But I'm liking it. I'm hoping Quincy likes it too. <laughs> Was he good on the drive in? It's just a long drive. Miami traffic is crazy. Yeah, I know. And yeah. plus, it's further away too. Further away than Siesta Key. <laughs> I love it. It's a big jump from Siesta Key. Like, I do music, so I have to be somewhere like a hub. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm not going to be the father I want to be to Quincy if I stay in Siesta Key. I'm trying to do this for him. So do you actually like have any connections in Miami? I know several people, but since I've been here, I've met an artist named Sunir. She's a singer. She's a singer, and I want to do a track yeah. with her and then ask her on a date. She's just like a dope artist. I don't even know you. But I want to. You don't got nobody, you don't got nobody to hold you. Everybody needs somebody, well, I can be somebody Sunir. for you. I'll be somebody for you, I'll be somebody for you. Ted. I want to invite y'all out today, just have a conversation a little bit about what we're doing for the remainder of this year. I know you and Tanir have been in rehearsal. Oh, wait, is this show. the artist that he was just talking about? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This upcoming year. I think we've definitely been preparing Tanir to be more appealing to a live audience. And also, my boss, which is you, said you rather us take our time preparing greatness than to rush it. True. When it comes to us perfecting me, you have to understand who me is now. I'm not Tanir that was 15 years old. What? <laughs> what are you? What's happening? You have to understand who me is now. You have to understand who me is now. I got her. And you have to accept that. I'm getting older, and when it comes to my music and how I portray myself is going to be different. And as an artist and not your daughter, you're going to have to separate that. So basically, she's saying she you goes. raise her to be a great young woman, to have respect for herself. Exactly. But sometimes, it's OK for her to be hot girl summer. What's your name, attorney? <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. 
because I'm not just an R&B artist. And I've always expressed that I don't want to be stuck in a box of just one type of genre. Got it. Listen, you can tell me whatever it is. You say you want a feature by Lil Baby? We got it done, right? You want a song with Rick Ross? We got it done. Tell me who you want to do a record we haven't reached out to him and been able to get it done. Well, I met this guy. He's an artist and he was just talking to me about collabing and stuff, and I feel like it's a He's good idea. He's not a distraction, is he? No. My intention would be to get a song with her, but as of right now, I just show in love. I'm like, yo, I'm a fan of your music, but I would definitely like to work with her. For <laughs> She's sure. like, I hate everything you're saying. <laughs> I don't understand. Out of everybody hit you in your DM that you want to do a record with this guy. Um, I mean, he's a really chill guy, and I feel like... You know these cameras that are filming <laughs> us right now? He's like, on that show. He has really good music out. I think it could be a cool style for me to get into that's other than R&B as well. Just seemed kind of strange to me. Why? Did he have a hit record already? Uh, yeah, no. So what is it about this guy? You're just grilling her. Uh, I'm right. not grilling her. Always. I'm always gonna protect my investment. Okay. Mm. So if you're here to work, don't get too distracted with the ladies. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to work. I'm not, I'm not trying to go chase girls all summer. That's not what I want. I'm really just trying to work. I don't want you wasting your time. I don't want you wasting your time. See, this is the part when I get worried. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Let's have fun, though. This, this is, is my a great conversation. The old Ted would have made us swim back. Yeah, that's true. That's he true. would have been swimming back. At least he would drop us off. Let's eat. Let's get the music going. Ooh. Let's get the music going. All right, so her, her dad is supposed to be some sort of record <laughs> big yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Naked Taco sex. Yes, thank you. Uh, no. Why? Why not? It's a little too early. All right. Yeah. Enjoy. Gracias. No, de nada. <laughs> Hi, girl. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. You need to move to Miami so we can zoom from there. <laughs> starting to get a little settled, but I don't know. I feel out of place. I feel like I'm no one here. Yeah, you went from being a big fish in a little pond to yeah. a little fish, but you have to be in a big city yeah. to make JMP a household name. It's Swim City. I mean, yeah. you're in the right place. Speaking of that, um, there's this PR company. It's called WKC, and the women's okay. names are Gwen and Dara, and they're like fat asses. Really? I feel like that's exactly what Love we need right now. We've invited them to our launch party. And okay. They said that they'll come, but we definitely have to be on our game. This is a big deal for us. So you- Everything's running on it. Party. I mean, you have All a lot that. of friends that are influencers. Yeah. I'm sure if you tell people there's gonna be this fabulous party, people will show up so that Gwen and Dara don't think that we're like pathetic. Yeah, okay. The only thing is like, I don't even know if Clark is gonna come. The PR ladies are not going to like your swim to the line if Clark is not there. <laughs> well, people ask for you at places. Really? Yeah, you're a selling point. Okay. He doesn't want to be on camera. Like, he doesn't want to be involved on the show. But this is I your can't. business. I mean, if you're going to be together, Clark needs to be supporting you in your business. This is like your coming out show of I'm yeah. a real brand. This is how you take it to the next level. This is like your coming out show of I'm a real brand. My Feliz Navidad in El Verano. What is El Verano? Summer. Oh. You know, I know a lot of those Espanol palabras. <laughs> Espanol what? Palabras? <laughs> probably sayings. I love Chris. I'll take. Okay. I don't know Spanish. That's not fair. I have to use my Spanish here a lot. I probably should learn. So how are you adjusting to Miami, the concrete jungle? There's more to do, more music. Yeah. It's the city we fell in love in. Yep. The city we had our first kiss. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I feel like everything's hotter in Miami. Muy picante. Yeah, even that. <laughs> so I'm sure you've already seen Chloe and Chris's super expensive wedding on social media. But what most people didn't know was that they sunk the rest of their money into Chloe's new skincare line. And as someone who started a business myself, I'm sure they were worried about finances. I think Wait, we just have what? to- What? I don't understand the yeah. whole thing. That was really bad writing. In Miami, there's 10X more distractions than there is in Siesta Key. For sure. 
between the wedding and this company. We've invested a lot of money, and now we have to put more money into Emerald Ray because we have the facial cleanser and the three toners coming out. The new manufacturers are gonna want at least probably half of the money up front. Jeez, <laughs> gotta have the namaste for all that because it's been so intense. It's just like the universe is throwing signs at us. Don't do it. I think we just have to yeah, that's cook some dinners at home, but I feel like it's important that you honor the fact that we are really doing what we came here to do. I agree. Honor that. Let's make it happen. <laughs> love you, babe. I love you. I'll honor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Insistente, competente, ampliamente ardiente, coherente, fantásticamente decente, evidentemente inteligente, pretendiente. How's nursing school? The school was good. It's really obviously hard. So I'm happy I, I have the imagine. summer off now. I'm feeling good. I'm so happy you're here, Kara. <laughs> like Miami is like was made for me. I love the like the Latin vibe and my Spanish is coming out a little bit. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's cool. I came to visit. So they're like, don't leave. And I'm like, yeah, actually, I don't want to leave. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's only nothing going on for me. It's yeah. yes, the key. No, I get it. He just asked me to stay. And then he's like, you can like help me, you know, like do things around the house that I don't want to do and help take care of the dogs. And yeah, so. Yeah, she doesn't How support. How does Megan feel about the whole situation? It's not a good situation. It's not a good situation. Jordana, I'm surprised. Oh, God. You look really pretty today. Oh, oh. As nice as this is, it's uncomfortable. I'm going to sit in my seat. I know. My knee, too. It's like kind of dangerous. How is your knee feeling? It hurts, but I don't know. I don't like to complain a lot, so I don't talk about it a lot. Mm. Did you no, pick a date for the surgery? No, I mean, Jordan's getting her BBL or BB like, Q or whatever it is, and I don't know, I'd like to be able to walk for that in case she needs anything. She's like my best friend, so you know. That you're buying a BBL for? Yeah. What? A BBL is like a skin laser. Sounds like he's buying it for her, which is probably like a couple thousand dollars, I would say. That's what I'm getting, but okay. let's see. Oh yeah, you heard right. Sam was funding Jordana's whole BBL. We all know what that is, right? If not, it's a Brazilian butt lift, and it costs about oh, no. twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't like, know. I don't I'm... have any friends that would buy me plastic surgery, but what? Whatever, if it makes her feel good about herself, it doesn't matter. You have like a nice little bubble butt. It could be a little bubblier. Okay, how are you paying for that? Sam was like, "Oh, like I'll help you if you need it." Oh boy. You seem like kind of offended by that, or not? I think it's just weird because, like, you want me to do everything a girlfriend would do, and then you treat Jordana more like a girlfriend than you treat me. You're very, very generous. He still with looks you. sick. I mean, uh, I'm not like having it's sex with good. him, so. I know, but just be prepared for people to be like, what the f? It's gonna seem like you moved to Miami and got Sam as a sugar daddy. Wait, aren't sugar daddies like supposed to be like a lot older Man. than you? I mean, I guess. And don't you have to like sleep with them? He's like, like your sexually? sugar brother. <laughs> I mean, she decorated the house. Her paintings are everywhere. The posting, like with you guys hanging out every day. And then like you're buying her a butt. But she's my friend. Like we're not hooking yeah, up. Yeah, it's like, definitely. I don't know why you want it to look like you are. Sam must have said other stuff, and they just used him staring. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh no, Mike. Sharon and her boyfriend are so good. You like my house? Yeah, yeah Sam house. likes it too. Yeah. But yours is mine. <laughs> Who's going to Juliet's party? Oh, I got that Evie. Personally, I think she just wants you to see how much better this one is than the last one. Gosh, I think it looks amazing. I Sam, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, no problem at all. Oh my god. Thank you so much. This is gonna be amazing launch party. Who's funding this one? Clark, maybe? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I am not looking forward to getting it ready. Whoa, look what they did yeah. the walls. You're really not gonna come? No, I figured, especially since she wasn't really at your launch party, it's like, you know, you can show up and I'll do my thing. I just don't even think Juliet understands 
It's so hurtful that she continues to not show up for me. And it's like, she just expects me to be at her beck and call. Like, I can't not be there for her, but like, I need to somehow show her that how she's treating me is going to be our problem and our friendship moving forward. So what's your plan tonight then? Are you gonna Attack. call her out? We'll see. Maybe wait like till after her party. has to change. Yeah, it's kind of like weak on my end if I don't go, and yeah. honestly, I'm like still hesitant, I guess you could say. Yeah, I could see why. Yeah. But since she extended the invite, I feel like maybe. Yeah. I think we should all go. Because we're on the show. <laughs> you look amazing! Gonna break the town, 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 town. Hey, your face is Hi! Julia, what up? How are you? Good to see you. This is my friend, Sineer. Hi, nice to This looks great. Yeah. Good, great party. Yeah. yeah. You were telling me about yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Oh my we're gosh. gonna work on some music, hopefully. Oh nice to meet you. Congratulations Thank on you everything. So much. Come on, JMP, let's do it. I like Chloe's outfit. Uh huh. You look amazing. Thank you so much. I love it. We clearly caught the vibe. I'm not surprised. Me either. Where's Amanda? Amanda's sick. Otherwise, she, she would be here. Yeah. More importantly, where's Clark? He's coming. He's coming. Okay. You better. All right. Honestly, I hadn't heard from Clark yet, and I had no idea if he was coming. But I wasn't about to admit that to Chloe. He's coming. I certainly hope so. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill you. I love this. You Is that a cookie? Yeah, it was a cookies on a hanger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, how'd you guys meet? Just like social, social media. media. Not like a dating yeah. app, right? It's, no. It's work. Uh, yeah. Social media. Yeah. Because you guys connected through music. She's an artist out of Miami. Oh, yeah. She's a dope R&B singer. singer. So she got several singles out right now. We met on artistmingle.com. Yeah. No, <laughs> this is sugary work, right? Or, or... Of course. Bro. I don't know. So you're not going to have anything messy? No, I don't like messy, messy things. Yeah, I don't like messy things either. Well, he kind of has a history of being messy. Ooh. Thanks, Chet. Oh, look who's coming in. Dara Ooh. and Ooh, she doesn't get a Chiron. Gwen. So these are the women from the PR agency that Jamie mentioned, WKC. They handle a ton of huge brands. And they were considering working with us, JMP the label. To say I was intimidated was an understatement. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, I just sorry. threw this on. Uh, uh. Is there gonna be a fashion show? We're not gonna have a fashion show, but we do have some models yeah. that are swimming in the pool elegantly. Oh, we have a good per performer for the night? Do we have a performer? So Julia like, is gonna- I mean, I can do some cartwheels if you want. She's gonna sing, she's really great at karaoke. <laughs> uh, no performers? No fashion show? Sorry, we're out of here now. Okay? Good luck having a bathing suit line ever in Miami. Do you guys know what editors are coming? Yeah, well, yeah, sure, sure. Ish. What? No. So what? Are this yeah, all yeah. The people that are coming tonight? No, stop. People don't act like this. My ex. Hey, um. <laughs> Not impressed. Um. Think up. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I need to take five. Film someone else for a little. No, this was from a million different conversations. Cheers to... Glenn. Yeah, cheers yeah. to Glenn. Interesting night. An interesting night, for sure. Is she really here already, yeah? She so is here, yeah. She's right over there. Just sitting by herself. Huh? <laughs> this is a sick party. <laughs> Clearly, she didn't have the same budget either. <laughs> It's kind of weird. I didn't even want to come, honestly. You essentially came to show her what she's missing. I don't know. I'm just trying to be supportive. Like, I don't even... <laughs> supportive of what, your ex? Oh, my God. This is going to be me. This is me. <laughs> it's not my BBL. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. You know, we had a conversation about that. So you went about what? My what? It is kind of weird that, like, the guy I'm seeing is buying you an ass. It's just, it's a weird feeling for me. Why? Are you, like, upset about it? You can see where she's from. What if your boyfriend is buying some girl like hair too? Okay, I understand that, but like I've been friends with Sam for like literally 12 years. I'm sure he'd buy you a pair of tits if you asked. I don't want tits. I want him to care about me and give me a commitment.
Damn, not loving Jordana's you. vibe uh -uh. in Miami. Uh uh. Not elevated. Look good today. Thank you. That's the same outfit that you wore to the after, the after party. party at your wedding, right? Yes. Black, but I wore the white. I like it. It's crazy how time's flying, right? I know. How are you? I'm good. I'm actually really good. I just sort of like. Who's the girl that's with you? Samir, yeah. She's an artist out of Miami. She grew up here in Miami. All right, so is it like that? Is it like what? You know. Nah, I don't want to mix business and pleasure. I really moved out here to focus on priorities. The music scene is everywhere out here. My modeling agency is out here. You're a model for Emerald Ray Botanical. I'm at, it's, it's, it's on me right now. Can you see? I know. You call me. You like it. I do. Yeah. And I try to support my friends at all businesses, I appreciate you know? That. Because I'm one of those. And, you yeah. Know, you support me with my music, and yep. I, that means a lot to me. So Not everybody support. in this group does that. But yet, yeah, here we are supporting Juliet again. It is what it is. I'm not a hater. That's not in my blood. I'll still support my friends, even if they don't support me. I don't give a Like, you know, Juliet didn't come to my launch party. She only cares about Juliet. And now Clark, who Clark doesn't seem to care about her because he doesn't even want to, like, be involved in her world and be there for her. Oh. But it's not. But Chloe, we appreciate you trying to bring the drum. <laughs> well, he's dating Juliet, so you need to let him know that that is not possible. I know. You're telling me. You're going to date Juliet, but you're going to have no part of this world. That's going to go over well. Are they going to be performers? Do you think Clark's here tonight? I mean, it's Juliet's party. Why wouldn't he be here? I feel like he should be here, but just like seeing their dynamic, he doesn't seem like the most caring boyfriend. I saw you and Parker hanging out the other day on social media. Ooh. What was up with that? We all have the same friend group. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah. But him and Juliet's relationship is a little more rocky than everyone thinks because like, he's a little flirty with me that day. He's flirting with me and like all the other girls in the boat. Doing what? What is he like grinding on girls? Dancing like, what with girls. No. He's trying to grab my hand and dance with me. Like, but what is dancing? dancing? Like, 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 like. I mean, like we were all like up, but like trying to like spin me around, like to the point where my friends were like looking, saying like this is trouble, like making comments. As you might remember, Megan and I didn't spinning. have the best history. I understand why you were hurting in the situation, but I wasn't trying to do anything to hurt you. It's okay. Lie. You're a bottle rat. You're a cloud chaser. We all know what you're like. Time's out. Let's go. So I wasn't exactly happy that she and Clark had mutual friends. I never trusted Megan. But there wasn't much I could do about it, right? But that's no. crazy. Maybe she's okay with that. I'm surprised, honestly. Don't tell her, Jordana. Everyone kept asking me if Clark's coming, and I was like, he's coming. Why wouldn't he come? It's your party. You know, but he doesn't want to film. And that's why you want to come. Yeah. To never be on camera. That just doesn't make sense. What up, guys? Hey, guys, or whatever. Thanks for coming. Hey, yeah, are we doing hugs or just still high fives? Just high fives. What's uh, new? Nothing, Sean. Like, obviously, living in Miami, just you guys kind of chased me down here, I guess. Yes. Deep breaths, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God. But, like, oh, his emotional support weird. changes. Yeah. Weird. It's never not going to be weird, so. So how long? Forever? I don't know. Maybe not forever. I feel very awkward right now in the middle right now. <laughs> well, I mean, we can coexist, hopefully, in Miami. I'm happy to see you happy. I hope everything works out, and I want you to do well. Aw. So I have a, a lot of party guests I want to talk to, but. Happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Don't give her the wrong idea. What did you think of the party? We did not lie at all. I, I don't know where this accent is coming from. <laughs> it's hers. Uh, okay. It should be so much more. It's more editors, more influencers, yeah. that kind of stuff. A few celebs. A little red carpet. We saw some people dancing in the pool. You guys don't listen to these publicists. This is so crazy. They'll, don't take their advice. Wow. Well, did I just make a fool of myself? Correct. I 
Oh. It wasn't a drunken, it was a fun. I'm lighthearted, I'm loose. Okay, there were no editors here, so that's okay. But okay. next time. I'll be more professional. So well, thanks I'm, for inviting us. No, thank you so much for coming. It really means a lot. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. This party's a bust. Yeah, it's much better when you threw it. So nice. Oh, really? It's more her business. Yeah, I mean. It's not funny, Jordan. Like, it's like she's <laughs> like being welcome. Funny. No, 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 no. What up? Um, what up? Yeah, yeah, it's a cinema. Hi. What up? What did you, uh, like, think about the party? We were just, like, kind of talking about We were just talking about it. All right. Yeah. yeah. OK, so I can tell that I'm not, like, wanted here. No, you're wanted. It's fine, it's fine. I'm going to grab a drink. No, you're wanted. I can't really run with this stuff. Spicy with Jordan, or what's the deal? No, I don't want to have anything against Jordana, but like, you make me feel weird about that relationship between the two because you and I aren't secure, and I don't know what to do. And I don't want you to commit to anything until you're ready, but I'm saying you know, like, what I need and what I want right now. So if you can take time to think about that and like tell me what you want. This is I'm sitting here, like, at my girlfriend's launch party with her new Your boyfriend. Your girlfriend's there. launch party. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Like, I think I have a month left to deal with this. You figure your out or I'm gone. See, he's got a month? We have a month. I don't blame her. It doesn't look like that bad of a party. No. He showed up. In his bandana shirt. Oh my god, this was a similar storyline with me at Olivia Palermo's dinner party on the rooftop at her house in Tribeca. And Aaron's like, is Jay coming in? I'm like, no, he's not. And then he showed up. Mm -hmm. Not that I like, loved you and Jay together. I'm just saying like. Oh, I know. No, it's good stuff. You think I was coming? Well, yeah. No, I knew you were coming. I just wanted you here sooner. I'm happy you came. Of course. I'm going to miss it. I know. That's how you work. Are you going to yeah. give me a goodie bag or what? I'm going to give you a goodie bag. Will you rub my feet? Hey, Hi. Hi. How are you? What's up? How are you? Good. I Good haven't even you. seen you. I know. I'm trying to stay away from all the craziness. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> Do you, you guys want a drink? Um, no, I'm okay. Good? I just want to talk to Jules. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I feel like I haven't talked to you at all. Are you mad at me? Oh, you are mad at me, aren't you? Well, I don't want to talk about it. I just wanted to come up to tell you I'm leaving. Oh. Because you're mad? Or That's you're so mad? immature. Juliet, you need to be more self-aware than that. You have no idea? All right, well, while you figure it out, you can text me. Ugh, I cannot deal with friends that text like that. No, not a good way to behave. It's embarrassing to admit, but adjusting to being a small fish in a big pond was harder than I expected. My body's asleep, my mind is awake. Regrets are looking in You don't seem that small. I mean, in Siesta Key, everything was easy. But in this big city, I wasn't sure what I was doing. It felt like all my friends had moved on without me. And I couldn't help but think. What? Hey Joel, what? Pretty frustrating that you have no idea why I'm not in spite of what's really You're important. You're so wrapped up in Clark's you world. You didn't come to the Emerald Ray Long. You haven't party. been a good friend to me. And you know what? Amanda agrees. Pretty ridiculous. I'm mad at you. You've barely hung out with either of us, and it's pretty ridiculous. It feels like you've forgotten about us. And You're losing sight of what's really important. This is insane really how they ended this, and then also how so that she just left us all in a voicemail. I'm being chased, but can't run away. The pain that I caused you is looking for me. I'd be like, F off! Yeah, kind of. Also, don't leave me that kind of a voicemail. No. Like, we're not friends anymore. Siesta Key takes on Miami. <laughs> I really am viewing JMP as my empire. I don't know what it is exactly that I'm feeling. 
she's telling everyone my okay. new boyfriend is flirting with her. I love you. If the right person comes along, you should definitely be open to it. I was once a cheater. One, two. Everybody. Sometimes the question, are you with the right person? You were meant to have two to three children. Had you had any pregnancies? I just lost my son. You know I want to be a mom. Good way to mend this would be to walk in the show. I don't have a lot of girlfriends because it's too much drama. I have every reason not to be friends with that girl. You're gonna come for me, you're going to war. I'm here for fun, okay. so. Amanda, are you kidding me right now? What is wrong with you? How are you concerned Amanda. about me? Don't talk to me like that. You're what? Are you me? Yeah. Everyone told me not to trust you. I feel oh. like you have fun hurting me. The emotions of the pain, just so many ups and downs. It feels like a chapter is ending. Um, all right, well, you finish it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to make you do this one. No. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. You got this. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> Bye from our couch. <laughs> <laughs>